Hi friends, welcome back to Thrifty Food Plan. Doing a little something different today. We are going to talk about frugal fun. And for me, like money that I have available for fun stuff is highly dependent on my grocery budget and how that plays out at the grocery store. So as you saw in the last haul video, um, grocery haul video, I came in under budget by $19.04. And so when I come in under budget on my groceries, that's really where my fun money comes from. Um, when I come in under budget, I put at least 25% in sort of a grocery savings, um, not an account, but I hold it in my, in my checking account. You know, in case I do go over grocery budget, I've got a little bit of um, money in there in case that happens. And then also to sort of save up for special meals for like birthdays, Thanksgiving, that sort of thing. And then the balance of the money, I allow myself to spend it on fun things for myself or uh, the college phenom when she is with me or the two of us together. And I sort I call that the fun fund. So every week, the fun fund is determined by how the grocery budget plays out. So this week's grocery budget, right? I came in 1904 under budget, which need, means I need to put about four no less than four dollars and seventy six cents of that aside for the grocery savings, which leaves me just around $14 for the fun fund. Now I'm by myself this week. Uh, the college phenom is traveling. So what can I do that's fun, experiential, just and just me? Look where I am. Was it fun? So I went to go see Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul, which uh, there were definitely moments in the film that were laugh out loud funny. Um, some reviewers have called it dark satire, and I think that's right. Um, I love Sterling K. Brown. Regina Hall was amazing in this film. Um, I think that if you go see it, it helps if you have experience with mega churches, maybe know a little bit about black culture. I am obviously not black myself um, and was raised in the deep South and am part of a family that is uh, biracial. Um, anyway, if you go, see, I recommend, I recommend the film. And if you see the film at the end, when the first lady basically lays out the two options she feels like she has on reflection, I think maybe she's leaning toward the first one <laughs> by the end. Um, also was just a delight to have movie theater popcorn. If you're wondering if it's vegan, yes, yes, it is. Believe it or not, there is, there's not a dairy product in movie theater popcorn. Not particularly healthy for you, but delicious. And I ate it and I had it with a Diet Coke, which I almost never get. So how did I pull this off on my budget? Well, uh, today when I was filming this uh, was National Cinema Day. So tickets were three bucks, medium popcorn, three bucks, medium soft drink, three bucks. I ended up paying a little bit more than that because I pre-purchased my ticket online. I was just worried that maybe there wouldn't be seats left. And so there were some extra fees with that. Instead of $3, I paid $4.89. And then you can see here my checking account. I have a pending charge from Harkins Theater for $6. And that was my soda and my popcorn. No tax on that. So my total cost for my little experiential outing, just me, some frugal fun, was $10.89.
My fun budget that I have left over is $3.39, not a ton, and I'm sure I can figure out something to do with it. And if I don't, then I'll just hold on to it and use it next week. Uh, and the phenom uh, and I will be together next week. So I'll, I'll need extra, extra dollars when the phenom is with me. Thanks for visiting this special frugal fun edition of the Thrifty Food Plan channel. Um, and uh, we hope to see you back here on Thursday. Please do hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for coming.